the sideline for the future, Harry, and I'm not against it. You know, every, every pro says, like, yeah, you know, in practice works so well. I, again, still, maybe once every 10 times we see Julies, I feel like they, they are worthwhile. Are you really going to come out here I'm with gonna, the anti-Dool Barrera I am, I am full anti-Julies, and I will never be changed in my ways. Dupree, evil though, this is a little bit better, and he's got a gap in the smoke, spamming with it, taking down one, but he hit the trade. Scouts are still picking up damage. Three on two, uh, three on four, this is a weird one. Enter trapped out by smokes, they're waiting for the fade, and Hades takes down Glaive. No more utility left up for Enz to cut out Astralis from this bomb site. They've got to fight for it. Yeah, there's this scout on Lucky back in CT. He's got a very, very long angle into the site, right? And with no smoke down to cover this, uh, this position, he could get some chip damage off with this scout. And, you know, with two of these players already tagged up, there it is delivering. Hey, he's caught in it, trying to cross. And this is why the A-bomb site can get very, very awkward, right? When the smokes are down, it feels quite nice. But the moment they fade, getting a plant is one of the most tricky things out there. The thing that's really going to hurt you here is that you don't have anyone to flush out this cube player. Normally, right, if you're playing into the A site, you like to have a little bit of a mid lurk coming in to apply pressure to someone like Bubsky in cube. It's made it impossible for Ents to even plant the bomb, and so they're having to look for kills. So far, every one of those challenges has come up in favor of Astralis, and this round, well, it might be the four spy victory for them. Spinks is doing everything he can but with only 10 seconds left, that boy's running out of time. He's going to tap that bomb. There's the bait peak from Cube. Does deal with Bobski, but the late swing from Majisk is enough to lock it in. And Astralis, they steal that round away. And that really does show, you know, the, 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 the problem with all inning the A bomb site. If you don't find success right away, if everyone's coming through main and you don't get the bomb down while those smokes yeah. are up, you're in a world of hurt. And you get in that weird limbo where it's like, okay, now I just can't plant. Now I've just got to keep faking the bomb. And yeah. even when you do so, you can get peaked from so many angles, right? Not only the, the, the weird little uh, glimmers in Temple, but that donor position is so hard to get through. Majisk, he looked like a beast on this map yesterday. I'm really happy to see him already starting strong again. He was often pushing up towards that B-bomb site, taking lane on the CT side. Won't have to do so yet. It's more A control for Ents. And well, how much control can they really show? Running out of main, Bubsky behind the boxes. He's got the first. Smokes are down, but they're not stopping Astralis from laying waste to Ents in this round. Good deed for Doto. But still, they shouldn't get out of control. This shouldn't be an Ents round. And Majisk will make sure that is the case. Lucky moving in off a temple. Another deed for Doto, but it's falling on dead ears as Astralis steal away their second. Yeah, so when we think back to, you know, Astralis and what we saw out of them yesterday, th th I think there were a few things worth talking about. I think, you know, when, when we look at that series, there were two pretty clear heroes in my eyes from, like, the the the, the Astralis of old, right? I think Glaive had a, had, a, had a really good time yesterday, especially looking back to Inferno. I think he was instrumental. Oh, hey, did you miss us? Because we're back, baby. It's I don't think anyone four. did. <laughs> <laughs> Right, look at this. Yeah, look, we're back in. We're all about the Counter-Strike. That's why we're here. And look at this. Ents, they come off the back of a little pausey warsy and they come in with a bunch of big kills on this force by Hugo. Oh, my word. How have they managed this? The Deagle raining out with the double. And now these players having armed themselves a little bit as well. Oh, Just Magisk and Dupree to try and see this through. And look at Magisk. Right. Fired at a dead body. Scared a little bit. Hey, yeah. he's pushed back in main. He's going to hit his shot. Magisk can't finish off Sphinx. And it's somehow an Ents win with the pistols. They come in with barely anything to that round. And they still force back in. Charge middle. And look at the results. They speak for themselves. 2-2. Two, two. And already throwing a spanner in the works. That might force the buy from Astralis. The wars have only just begun. Yeah, let's get it right. You got a couple of M4s still in play. You got the little Deagles out for Lucky and Glaive. Lane control taken by Snappy. Just running it fast with the smoke down and cave and taking all this real estate here. Ends. This is looking like they maybe just want to do an all-in B commitment. They don't have any real estate anywhere else on the map. So going back 
That's not really something you can be afforded here. You want to just commit and follow through on this one. Magisk is dead and Glaive can't find a thing with his Deagle. The rotations have been called for, but Ents are already here, knocking on the door of this B-bomb site. Now getting that bomb down. A four on three post plant. It's looking good for the end squad. That's weird though, over the top. He finds Deha Dupree knocked off though by Hades. And in the Deagle does catch him in the corner. Two on two, no kit for this retake, not yet. And Ents, they're gonna try and go through the smoke perhaps. Lucky just clearing the corners of the side. Obviously, grabbed a gun, spam comes through, jumping everything they can to get this guy off the bomb. And they need a 10 second stick. Bubsky needs both kills on the cover. The defuse is happening, and Bubsky won. And Lucky gets off it. I don't know if there's time now. He had to, he was going to die. But it's going to be very, very close. Oh my. But not close enough. Oh, that is devastating, man. Yeah, he had to get off. He really did. He was going to die. He was down to 20. He was getting chased, but really nice try for Astralis. We talked about this a bit yesterday in that Spirit game, right? The the difficulty of holding this B-bomb site when you are up against like a real execute, long smoke, short smoke, corner molly, and all these flashes. There's not really many spots to play but the pillar and the cave, and you can always get split from cave. So, yeah, we're seeing more teams lean towards retakes on this site, and that was a very close one. A kit would have made all the difference there. That would have been a one round, but... Obviously, Astralis did not have the money. Ooh, and Astralis, you know, they're fully the keen yeah. to capitalize on just how close that was. They forced up again in this round now. The only guy saving money is Lucky. For that's AKs, to try and though. bring the AWP out. Yeah, that's the only issue here, right? It's like uh, you've you done a lot of damage in that last round. You got out with the gun as well on Bubski, but... Ents have still come in with the full investment. And so really, you know, this could see you put on the back foot in a pretty big way if you don't find success here on the Astralis side. Yeah, Ents are in no hurry. They find this kill in main. They know they've got that real estate with Doto cowering in the corner. And the more time that goes on, the more well, questions Astralis so ask. They're going back in for this A execute again, right? Uh, and you remember what happened when they did this earlier on in the yeah. game, right? It grinds to an awkward halt oh. with a nade kill coming in and Snappy on the receiving end of that. Ents are trying to clear this site, but, but they can't really clear it. There, there's so many smokes down. It's like a yeah, wall of smokes planting. cutting the site in two, and it's very, very awkward. Oh. You need to flush out these players and try to get oh. that bomb planted. And so really, the bomb plant coming in from Sphinx, I think that's just saved the day. That has yeah. just alleviated any worries that I had. I just will take out one, but Hades, look at him. He's playing the trigger discipline. He's trying to milk this for all it's worth. There's the double for Hades and Just Dupree. He's sent packing. He's got to get out of there. Yeah. Enter on to four. It seemed like they weren't really aware. Now, Bubsky did get headshot with that AK. That was really unlucky. Hades jumped into Temple. And so because he's headshot, he doesn't get a death cam, right? It's just fade to black really quick. And that's a shame because Hades just runs through Temple. And it felt like Astralis were not even aware of that possibility. No one considering it. I mean, they had their eyes on the prize there with the bomb plant down. And as you said, Sphinx getting that in, that's everything for Enz. Going for the J-Raz plant again, wide as they can be. Dodging the donut. That was what let them down last time they tried to plant on A, right? With Magis coming late out from that position. This time, look at this kill from Hades. I don't know how he got this one. Just jumping, headshot, running, and then double up to close the round. Lovely stuff. This guy's a real talent. He's been all the talk of the town as yeah. of late. I mean, back in, you know, the Whistler Krakow squad, he was yeah. one of the go to names. Obviously, oh. as well, I think it's pretty interesting, right? Well, like with the with the presence of D here, now you've got like the the two poles together. Oh, oh nice beautiful shot. opener, Dota! Yeah. Beautiful. And you know, this is a pretty normal strat. You might have tried it in your pugs on the eco, just full mid, just everyone. Now, Ends are still running this XX, so Astralis can catch a timing where they peek over this boost. But oh, lovely shot! It's gonna say they should find nothing. That's a, a last second frag from the gist. Will it amount to anything though? Snappy's low. Hades is getting rid of the bodies already. Glaive does find Snappy, but retaking here, you just don't have the weaponry. And again, it's gonna be the biggest problem here. Another frag for Deha and Ents are making quick work of this eco. I've got to say, it's a good eco for Astralis. They're keeping Ents occupied. They've got a couple of kills, but that should be the beginning and the end of the round. Bubsky looking to take one with him. Get another AK, perhaps. 
they're just not going up. Locked in now, waiting for the recommit. And there it is. Ents up 5-2. Uh, you know, fair play to Ents, mate. The Force by Wars came out. It looked like Astralis were going to start stealing things away. Then we had that round four mid push off to the pause. And Ents have been running away with the game ever since. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can see why they were confident to pick into this, sure. right? Even despite yesterday, which is, you know, even more impressive. Something I will say, though, this kind of comes with like a bit of a caveat in that it, it's been, you know, the, those force by wars to open up an Astralis. They, they were very, very keen to keep the force buys oh, coming in. Nice. This is their first buy with all the bells and whistles in the sense that you've got the AWP on Lucky. You've got utility to play with as well. Already, that AWP has found an opener, but Doto has kept it in a four-on-four four with that frag there onto Blade. And that's also going to entice Ents into this B site. Doto has actually just opened up this entire side yeah. of the map alone. The bomb has only just got to the double doors. Everyone else is like, oh, wait, we're in B. All right. No, they have no idea. Dota's going to catch Dupree. Oh, dear. He thought he'd still be aware. Dupree double back to check long. He knew about the chance of this player being pushed in deep, but can he do anything about it? Open plant, Dupree a little late, waiting for his teammates or not. It might just be the save. His team aren't even shuffling. If Dupree got a couple of kills, suddenly you'd be convinced. But right now, he might just have to get out of there with his gun. It's a sad case for Astralis. A man down with a one-man behold, ruined by Doto. And it ends. This is just a, a lovely T side. We were impressed at Astralis, you know, winning the T half yesterday over Spirit. Well, I think Ents are on to, to that and maybe more this time around. Yeah, it, mate, the, the, the thing that I've loved so much is it's not like there's been any kind of grandiose, you know, like really crazy calls coming in or anything like that, right? It's been a lot of these just, yeah, we'll throw some set smokes into A, we'll all explode in as five on the back of it. There hasn't been like a tremendous amount of this, you know, mid control or throwing fakes in. For the most part, it's just been grouping up as five and pushing a site, relying on the individuals to create the space. And really, I didn't think, you know, that would be Astralis's weakness. I didn't think that is what they would fall over at, but they've not been able to really make a dent so far. This round was just one guy, one guy on ends. Like, remember, Astralis got the open, and Lucky Zorb chimes in with a kill in middle. Doto responds by just going, all right, look, you can't go mid, but I'll go B, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's trying to do it again. He's feeling yeah. very, very confident right now, is Doto. He's dropped that, that front smoke. That's uh, not an Astralis smoke. That's his. Uh, he just didn't want them to push down the ramp right and take all this space we saw. You know, this is this is pretty standard. You can throw in those door smokes and you can get aggressive. They're going to do it in cave elsewhere. Hades with the orb. Oh, missed shot. But he knows about the prospect now. One kill, but not the double. Majiski's going to get the trade, but he tries to clear the corner and they take him down late from the door. VPS backing out of B now. He's alone with the bomb and he doesn't want to lose it. It could cost them the round. Astralis haven't fallen for this, by the way. But Glaive now re-aggressing and taking back the cave control. Astralis kept two back at A. If they kill Bubski, they might just try and plant. And that's when Lucky can cause all the problems. Bubski, even one kill here would be absolutely massive. Snappy's selling a mid fake. Actually, that's a smoke from mid to the back of the A site. Bubsy's got the spot. Has he got the shot, though? Smoke down to try and buy time and help Lucky cover the cross. He's got the hit. Taking down Spinks. Nice shot from Lucky. Doubled up. And Bubsky there to close as well. That's a lovely A hold. Astralis. Couple of kills of B. Does not deter them. Maybe they hear the water, right? We did see a, a bit of a run on the rotate there for Ents. Always something to keep in mind. Yeah. The water just needs to go. Yeah, it needs to go. Just remove it. You don't even have to fix the bulb. No, I'll no just one... remove the water from the map. There you <laughs> no, go. I mean, that's Problem the solved. thing. I find it like, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, people freak out about the smallest of changes, but I doubt there's going to be like a big group of people that go, we want the water put back yeah. in on Ancient. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, I'm going to rage every game I cast until it's done. Oh, oh, oh that's oh, a weird. Oh, that's all good. Oh, no. They tried it. Okay, the Astralis did this loads yesterday versus Team Spirit. They triple B ramped push. Yeah. Clearly, Ents are ready for this. Doto is holding it. He's just spamming a smoke, and they line up in it. Again, that's his smoke. He's yeah. doing that to stop them from pushing. Astralis still, they come into that round with a game plan. They go, forget the smoke. We're still going to do it. I guarantee they're not doing that again. If that smoke comes down, Astralis are locked out of B aggression. Nice way of cancelling it there for Doto. And now, Astralis, they are spread thin. They have to lean separate sites. Bubski alone.
And the orb at B it can't cover his cross this time around. I can't blame Lucky for being here. Doto's still looking for the entry. He's going to sell the fake. Even a death would keep players here. He's exchanged some damage. He doesn't need to die. Now the A play coming. Oh, oh, he's on one hell. He's a dead man walking. He already knows it. That should be the round. Stralis looking to save. Oh, it's about to get even better. Yeah, Hades just waited on this angle. That's a freebie. Sure, Diha dies, but that's not the end of the world. And, and man, this is looking really impressive. Like this, this wombo combo of Doto and Hades, this is the thing that's making this feel so doable right now. Doto, over towards this B site, he has been a menace, bro. Every single time he's taken these ramp spawns, he's been good for an opening kill, and he's always affecting the Astralis rotations as a result. That round there, Lucky isn't in cube like normal, right? Isn't, isn't helping Bubsky over towards A. Because he's had to rotate in and fill the void of the two players that die at B. And it's brilliant. Like, when Doto's doing this, there's two options for you if you're Ents. You either use the space he creates yeah. and just cascade and go in on the back of it, you know, and pick up the pace with him as your point man. Or you can fall off like we see there. Ab. And we've seen a lot of that already for Ents. Another gun round for Astralis, and this one matters most. Yeah, something I think it's also important to note is that rarely oh, in any boost. of these rounds have Ents attempted mid-control. This is a cool solution to Doto. Oh, oh but he's he's past the boost. Okay. I don't think they know. Nope. I just can't see this corner at all, and Doto just managed to get on past as Magisk was tucking in. So they disassemble that boost. They've even called for a rotation. Look at how paranoid Astralis are, man. Bubsky has now moved around, leaving that A bomb site on the free solely, man. He's got to watch mid and he's got to watch A. This is fine, though, right? Like, you can retake that A site, do pre still in a good position to get him for on the red timings. And if he ever wants to turn around and watch A, he comes over to Bubsky. Like, watch watch out on mid, care care the, the top push. You can see Bubsky's even aware that they might be in the A site. But this is the B take. Snappy's got an entry. Quick trade for play. He's going to try and go back to the ramp. Does grab himself a second before the orb removes him from the round, and now smokes come down for ends. God, Hades with this AWP. Oh my word, what? he's just running them down. How did he just do that? He wasn't even looking the right way. No. <laughs> like a dead man. <laughs> I thought he was so screwed. I was like, oh, look, he gets this nice double, but it's all in vain. No, dude, this guy's fast as hell. Kind of fitting. Nice, yeah, I, insane, insane game out of Ents right now, right? Like, you you gotta, I, I don't wanna already start to, you know, hold Ents back mentally, but while this is a great game on Ancient, I, I still worry about the rest of the series. I still wonder how these other maps will go, right? Nuke is next. That's a Danish classic. Y'all have all played versus the five stacks. You've seen what they've got to offer. And so, yeah, and it's important that they do get this first map put in, in the back pocket. And dominantly, that would be quite a statement against Astralis. One save gun. And you could even justify a buy here, but, I, you know, Astralis might just get the armor and save for that AWP, get everything in, all the trimmings. But right now, nothing's going well for Astralis. Look at this, bro. Yeah, great shots. Check this like, one. Like, what was that? No idea. What even is that? Like, out of all the ways to have taken that fight, you picked, like, the just the wildest method. And it's like he's already scoping and zooming in on the position before he's actually even clocked the Bubsky is there. Now we have a return oh to goodness. middle for Ents. They've Missed. been shying away from this position in the last few rounds. They try to switch it up now. Snap dead to open this one up. And that is a rifle that could look to get retrieved for Astralis. But Doto is once again, dude, like, I don't know, dude, this guy at B, uh, does it feel fair? Nah, not really. Not really. Oh, but the rest of the team are okay. all dead in the water. And there's a kit, so yeah. don't count and Astralis out of this round. All these guns are in middle, mate. This is, you know, it's free, free weapons to be retrieved. They've got an AWP on Lucky. He's elected to use the Deagle. He does this a lot. And, well, he will be on the receiving end of Doto, who's on for the ace. Just Dupree left to find Doto, king of the B-bomb site on Ancient. He's about to die. <laughs> Clutch is on Diha. Not had to do a lot this game, but this is a, a true test. It's the battle of the Ds, man. Yeah. Dodo's dead. Dupree now one man left to find. It's big Diha. All alone in the cave. And Dupree does have a kit, so he's going to tap on the bomb, try to bait the peak. Diha sees he's not on it. He knows he's Whoa. not sticking it. And that information alone has won the round yeah. for Eds.
Nine on the board, and Dupree is running away. Dita hears him, but he won't be able Whoa. to catch him. One, One point of health on Dupree, the yeah. difference between life and death there. It doesn't really make much difference though, right? It's not like money's been the problem for Astralis. They fielded plenty of buy rounds. That was a half buy. That was a bit of this and that, and they made it very close, but close, you know, that's not what you're looking for at this point of the game. You're 9-3 down. And sucks for Dupree there as well, right? He taps the bomb, but Dija peeks out from an angle. Dupree's not watching, so he doesn't even know that Dija has called the bluff. He knows it's a fake. So there's no reason for Dija to swing wide. Doesn't get the kill at the end, but I think Ents are very happy with that round. Great stuff out of Dota with four. Smoke on the mid, Molly, and Hades, who's been quite the problem. He's looking through it. Yeah, no, I mean, th th there's just like, right now, the only the only two that have been able to give us like big, big rounds, really, we're looking at like Lucky and Magisk. And, and even then, it's not in the, the, the same vein as what we've been getting out of Dota and, and Hades, right? With how these two can just take rounds in the palm of their hands. And look, once again, this orb, best Lucky in that head-to-head. -head. Snappy holding this oh. re-aggression, but we'll get caught by Glaive with the flash push. Mid control secured. The bomb's going towards B. I see Hades is pushing up through middle, and mate, like this guy is wild. Uh -oh. I love it. I love it. With an orb on yeah, his own. Look what at a this. <laughs> Now, okay, here's, this is weird because you do you really want to flank with an orb, or is he just going to wait to kill a rotate? He's hoping someone walks into his line of sight from A. Oh, it's got to be to kill the rotation, right? Yeah, you but... know they're going to be scrambling to send players over. Ents need to draw the rotate, although it might just come to them for free. There it is. My goodness, now Astralis know their back line's open. They try and move forward to take space and Sphinx will not allow even right, just this is, this is masterful right now at events. It's like, ooh, hang on a moment. Magisk might have just saved the day. He's dropped the bomb. And even though Ents have got B, they have this flank. They need to oh, deal no. with Magisk. Doto will trade it. Dupree was all the way over at the A site and Hades is oh. scoped up. He's just missed this timing. Dupree didn't see Hades either. Oh my word. He will get out of there, right? Just not wanting to give this fight over. If you don't give Dupree a chance in no the way. 1v1, he can't attempt the clutch. Is he going to save or is he just going back in from a different angle? This is going to take time for Dupree. Maybe he'll poke his head in, right? Get a quick kill with the AWP. And at that point, it's Temptation Station. But they're not considering it. Could be a freebie for Dupree. Dota turns back around. He knows the timings. Dupree looking in and he's got the kill. But that's still not enough. He's going to give it up. He's going to save his AWP and give Ents double digits in the T side. I say give. Ents take it away. They demand it. And this is a fantastic T side right now for the international squad. Yeah, what I was going to say is like this this calling out of Ents, like the, 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 the protocols that they've had are so yeah. good. It feels like they are just one step ahead of Astralis at every single turn. They knew that by making noise out... So Magic just kind of got trapped behind his own Molotov with nowhere to go and nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to go but up for Ents. Oh no, how's that a miss? Bobski, a sitter shot. Not going his way, push back to 10, and he smokes it down. It's confusion now. No one knows where they look, no one knows the fight. Dupree's got a gap, and he's using it well. Double kill, boost is up. If they try and re-aggress, they've got to be careful. Doto is right here, and the Astralis are making that same mistake. Ooh. Doto's going to drop in, he can't double up. Glaive will get traded, two on three, but the orbs are here, and they're finally starting to kick All into right. action. This is it, Hades. This is your time, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, not yeah. going to be easy. With the orbs already entrenched, Bubsky locks in that round for Astralis. Four on the board. You know, Ents, they try to throw in one of these Hail Mary A plays. I think, you know, the, the A take with the utility can feel like very, very 50-50 yeah. at times, right? Especially when you have a CT orb, like, well entrenched over towards Temple. I think that can be a really tough spot to deal with. And the fact that they haven't been throwing this, like, Temple smoke to cut off the angle, a lot of the time they've been looking to fight for it, it left that sight line open for Bubsky. I like how much Astralis fight for it, right? It, it got a bit dangerous on that re-aggression after Dupree's double, but, you know, they don't want to give it up they don't want to get that into a post plan and you know we see what happens back at b when we when we get into those retake rounds and ents just lock it down time after time they're still going for a right they're still doing it again no fear from ents as they run smokes into the site there's a wall down now only got to worry about temple that's one way of dealing with a donut not smoking inside can still spam these though bobski waiting patiently and he is going to give us the goods taking down snappy first still got a gap behind the smoke ents can't go any further Bomb planted now, and this is going to be a 5-on-4 retake for Astralis for the half. Yeah, 
Chomsky has provided that mad advantage just to help you out when it comes to moving in. If you're able to trade this evenly, Astralis could be onto a fifth. This means we need an individual to find something big. Space opens up, nice. traded once more by these AWPs Ooh. and the orbs. They're doing everything. That retake is all orbs. Oh my, that AWP on the end squad looking filth, Hugo. Yeah, it's tearing through Astralis. We saw some nice double orbs near the end of the half, but now Astralis can pick up the pieces. I'm already seeing Bill Barretta's on snap oh, now. Dear. Dupree had them earlier on. Let's see if they fare any better for Ents. If you remember, Dupree team killed when he had them. Oh, that's the bomb as well. They try and do this fast mid take and up towards a donut. Lucky's going to grab it and get out of there pronto, moving back towards B. He's holding on. So he needs to do the same with the jewelry spamming, and he's got one. That's something at least. He's only on five kills. He'll take what he can get. Four on three, Ents up a man can concede this B-bomb site. They do have the kit on Doto to retake. He's waiting to see if he can grab a kill before that point. Lucky almost gives it away. Going to fight for the site now. No smokes down for Astralis. They've got one in the bank. They're going to try and chase down Doto. Running out of ammo, finally dead to the Glocks. And now that should provide a, a plant here for Astralis. Can Diha do anything about it? Oh, that's one. On the low HP, oh, Bobski, double. but he's sandwiched. Double peaked between Lucky and Majisk. He's also oh. walking into a sandwich. And no one wants to be the centerpiece of a sandwich. I mean, actually, I guess it all gets eaten. So, <laughs> bad analogy there. Bad analogy. <laughs> Minus 10 points. But uh, plus one for Astralis. They find a pistol. Yeah. If the comeback was ever going to happen, that's how it had to start. But this is... I'm still worried. I, you know, Ents look really well versed on this map. Look. They look like they've done a lot of homework. And so, not necessarily on Astralis, but just on themselves on this T side. So, this force by could flip everything on its heads. We had a force by war in the first half that was won out by Ents. Oh, and that's how it all begins, isn't it? Spinks with a quick D gets out of there. Scott free. No punishment here for Astralis. Molotov and Spinks will dodge it. Oh, he goes back in for more. He's hungry for a second. Taking a bite from the donut. Instead, Astralis, they navigate elsewhere, moving up towards top middle. This is being held, and now Hades hits a shot. So, communication that watch out on your flank right now. Watch out on this A split. They smoked me off B side. And so, Snappy comes in to try and do that. Even one shot to Glaive would finish the job, and he's going to hit it in the head as well. Dupree flashed out, and he is going to get the trade. That was massive. That was the bomb. It needed to make its way safe into spawn, and now it's all up in the air. Where do Astralis go from here? Yeah, Dupree's all alone. He's calling for, for Bubbers to come on over and, like, give him a bit of a helping hand here because he doesn't want to risk giving the bomb away in CT. Astralis is just going to slow down, right? They've still got 50 seconds and this is only going to get wild if you start panicking. There's a reason they always say in times of crisis, everyone remain calm and it's because when you're all panicked, the decision making goes out the window. This slowdown leads to an A-bomb plant for Astralis. Both these players are low and Sudoto you know, he could still look to give this a little check, see what he can get away with. If he's not given anything right away, I imagine he just saves the AK. Yeah, you never want to save in a 1v2, but no kit, 10 health, and Astralis could be absolutely anywhere. In fact, they are. Bobski flanking middle. Doto's a dead man. Bobski just needs to put the final bullet in the back. And there it is. Astralis up to seven. That started scarily with Spinks's Deegan middle. We thought it could get out of control, but Astralis do deal with the force buy, and that puts ends back on nothing. Got to play with the USPs now and wait for those guns to come out in the fourth round of the half. All right, we're seeing the beginning here for Astralis. We're seeing the recovery, slow and steady. Their T-side against Spirit was really nice as well, but we yet to see Ents fielding weapons, and so we can't truly know how this one's going to go. Back to mid, they'll meet Ents there, a couple of players, and leaning away from A as well. Got a little flash ready in the middle. This is the flash I was talking about yesterday, right? Lobbing them in from CT spawn. You can't throw them from B or necessarily from the middle of the A site, but there are places as you get closer to middle, closer to donut, closer to B side spawn that you can flash mid. Doesn't matter though, all of this is negated by the fact that the Astralis execute A. They've got the temple smoke, they've got the donut smoke, and they've got the site. So they had just USP dink Bubsky <laughs> through a smoke. Oh, 
it shouldn't matter, right? It's only a tiny bit of damage, but it softened them up for the Deagles. And that's also the bomb dropped in the open. Doto, Deagle out. More damage to Magisk, but not the killing blow. Magisk has kind of bailed you out here, now regaining control of that bomb. Dupree with his late lurking through Cube. You know, cube lurks was something that would sometimes missing for Ents when they went for these A plays, and we saw that position come back to hurt them a few times. Dupree, very, very diligent, right? Comes in, mops up that, that cube player. And now it's all left onto Snappy. This round, what's left of it should just be a formality, and there it is. Yeah, they hunt him down. Astralis are up onto eight, but now the guns come out for Ents. Yeah, this is the moment we've been waiting for, right? Hades, when he's had this AWP, he has been beasting on the T side, and well, uh, CT orping, I would say, is even more fun on this map. Lots of open avenues. You can play that really fast CT rotate orp, right? Get a kill cube and then run back to B, vice versa. Lots of floating around on the CT side of this map, similar to Vertigo in that sense. Got that mid molly for Spinks. He's got the lineups. Some teams, some players still struggling with that. Double cave push. Got a bit of a gap, do we? So Monacy and the Academy League have little angles to view through that wood in the cave. Astralis even have a little one-way smoke on B on CT side. We didn't really see it used. They tried to boost over it at times, but not under. It now belongs to the Danes, though. Molly in the cutout and smokes on either side means Glaive can get all the way up in their business if he wants to. Magis v1 looking for B picks. Spoken and running his way into the bomb site. Smokes and Molly start to land, and that's an opening kill coming in for Astralis. Still two more CTs here trying to fight for the site. Doto's tucked in cave, knowing he could be split at any time, but he's gone to Dupree. Orp now has to find something, or well, this is a dead round for Enz. Oh, well, if there was someone who could step up, who could fill this void, it's Hades. Oh, while this is going on, Sphinx has caught Glaive down in the bottom of mid. Flash sets up Lucky for that kill. They're pushing. They might go to A. Yeah, but they're going to run into this double setup, right? They've only seen Sphinx. They don't know that d is up oh. close on the box. And uh-oh, Dupree, 13 points of health. He realizes the error of his ways now. Tapping the bomb. Enzo running in through CT. And they're going to hunt <laughs> down Pre Dupree. It's 11 on the board for Ents. Yeah. Great stuff out of that AWP on Hades again, right? He gets away with the double to try and propel them back into it. Spinks' mid lurk, his decision to, to not commit to that after getting spotted, rejoin Diha coming in through CT, yeah. proves paramount in the end. Right? Yeah, it means that both players are there ready for the push. Yeah, they just expect Astralis to see Sphinx deep in. Yeah, I, I just want to keep giving credit as well to, uh, to Snappy and, and his calling here, like so often, right? I mean, in that round there as well, I don't know if Spinks' decision to flank, but I imagine that's just him individually. Like, yeah. look, I'll come group with you. We'll play this together. But it's like, Ents have had such a good understanding of what the responses are going to be out of Astralis. That was the case in the first half, right? That they were always one step ahead. That round was a very solid example of more of the same now on the CT half. And so Astralis, they come in with this buy. They all in this round. And they're looking for success over towards A. Just a standard set piece, right? Smoking cube, smoke for CT. Temple smoke gone in as well. This is more standard oh. than the wall of smokes that ends throw. Is this going to work? Hades waiting <laughs> in temple, collects his free oh, kill. No. The bomb plant is denied. The bomb getting denied, that's that's the biggest thing in the round so far. Re, you know, like trying to recommit to a bomb plant now is impossible with these smokes fading. You need kills. And as they start to elude you, you can feel the round slipping away. Just lucky. And he is blindsided by Doto. You yeah. can see how scary that A bomb site gets if they're able to deny the bomb plant. Once yeah. the veil of those smokes is gone, or you're in for a rough time. Both teams have had trouble in this game getting on the A site, even even with smokes, right? With many different executes being thrown this game already. Uh, you know that donut donut smoke as well for Astralis. He, obviously, lineups are new; they're very hard. Uh, everyone's still trying to, to get the best lineups, but the the smoke doesn't go deep in the donut. It's kind of shallow. It kind of gives a, a wall for Sphinx to walk out behind it and have some cover. So it needs to be deeper in the donut to deny that aggression. Sphinx just gets to play through it. Snappy jumping, and he gets. A double should not have gotten away with that the nade certainly helps and push through a diha grabs one and evades capture and no, this is an easy peasy round for them with glocks on the other side and so they are taking liberties
flexing their muscles just a little bit. And why wouldn't you? You're about to be 13-8 up against Astralis. Miss Smoke. That clipping is always weird. I've been there myself. Padilla doesn't care. It's all a means to an end, and the end is near. <laughs> just going to make it so. Lucky having a great game. Top performer of Astralis right now, at least. But we need everyone stepping up in this next gun round if Astralis are going to hold strong in the rest of this map. Man, Snappy has smokes for, you know, different spawns, Every, like yeah. it's mid-Mirage, man. Yeah, no, 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 I, I, I've been noting that as well. Like some, of the, um, some of the lineups this guy's had, like he was yeah. also the dude who threw the uh, the CT smoke on A-site from, from like mid. Yeah, also it's because the spawns are more consistent on this map, right? You're just in a line when you spawn, you're just in one long line. So it's not like, oh, you know, oh, am, I, am, I, am I pushed forward? Am I a little bit further back? No, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty basic. So that's a really cool idea of getting smokes out instantly means you get that A main control for free. They won't play it forever. They just smoke Astralis out and go back to leaning B. Hades leaving middle. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's very, very exciting because, like, with, with Hades and Dota being this good, you almost forget about, like, some of the... Some of the other names, right? Like some of the other guys here. Spinks, yeah. when he first joined this this it's squad, nuts. it was like, damn, all right. Like he's he's bringing the firepower. Uh, Deha as well, I think, is another guy to look at. Really, everyone capable of putting up like incredible numbers. Yeah. Snappy, maybe someone who's a bit more focused on keeping it reined in. You know, like managing actually what's happening in the server. Very experienced player though, right? Like coming in as an in-game leader, you've got to keep that in mind when, you know, he's not having a, a great game individually. Well, that's not often what we what he's, we expect from him. He's a very pliable dude, right? And I mean, that was why he ended up going in with, Trump, with Yugi all that time ago. So, yeah. oh, look, Spinks gonna die after one, but it's traded by Diha and he's, oh, I was gonna say, keeping this a side under lockdown, but no. Yeah, Molly. I just get nope. bomb plant denied, and it's always an issue. You know, how do you do it on A? How do you ever get a bomb plant yeah. in any position? I, I'm kind of, I find it quite therapeutic watching yeah. this happen to a team like Astralis, and I go, oh, I mean, it's happening to them. I don't feel so bad that it happens to me yeah. every damn time. I just, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's just every, every, like, there's no plant spot that's safe from anything. Like, it feels like even the best plant spots, you know, the, the j plant spot that we always tout is the best one because it's free from donor. Still open to Temple, still open to Main, still open to CT. The, the spam through a CT smoke, the, the line of sight is such a small choke point, it's easy to spam. Maybe a bit of a B rush in this follow up round for Astralis as they are on a broke buy. Here they come with speed. Yeah, straight in, not wasting any time. Time's not their enemy. Their enemies are, oh, well, their enemies here. The bomb's going down, and they do get a plant out of this at least, so the extra cash injection's going to be appreciated. Lucky's Tech 9 flank has just missed this timing. He fired off a little too soon, so now they know they've got him trapped in cave. They, they volleyed their in-game leader into a corner. Of course they did. You can't let Snappy get all the kills here. <laughs> Lucky, dead after one, and it's Snappy to defuse it right at the end. They give him that at least. Yeah. Trapped him for a moment, but dear, oh dear, this is an excellent game out of Ents. I think a, a lot of teams are going to be starting to throw bans on Ancient the way of Ents in these head-to-heads. Astralis, don't count them out of the series, though, right? This is, again, a new map, one that Ents have clearly put in the man hours to. And so with Nuke coming up next, while Ents have certainly risen above expectations already, it's certainly no free 2-0 in this series. Well, this is it. Do or die now for Astralis. He has pushed up an A main. He gets flashed over the top. <laughs> oh my word! Yeah, they are. They're not gonna. They're not gonna keep fighting this. Surely, there's a re-smoke down to keep that choke point denied to Astralis. And it's, they actually dissolve this like double A stack pretty quickly. Mid control is getting attempted now by the Astralis squad. A glaive with that opener. He's giving them a little bit of room to play with here. Snap will catch a man at ramp and gets away from this mid crunch for a moment. Dupree doubling up. 
has just secured a route into the B side. But look at Bubs all the way back outside of A main. Yeah. What's the plan going to be with him here? It's going to take some serious time if they actually yeah if they're actually rush, committing yeah. into B. This is scary. No, it's fine. The smokes are down. They know Ents have to play for retake. That Molly okay. may even benefit Astralis as it delays the plant and gives more time for Bubski to get set up. This is all hinging though on getting the bomb down in the first place. Bye. And actually, Dupree's getting out of there. He's going well. Look, if, if Bubski's walked all the way through A, we aren't going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Bubski should have this round locked in now. So, yeah, it, it's a cool way of using this flank. If Bubski got through A, as he did, you go back, you plant on the A site with a safe rotation through middle. They got the info that both players had rotated to B, and so Ents are just going to save here. Yeah. It was nice, you know, nice way to kind of mitigate the dangers of this round. That's a good save. They don't have a lot of money. They, they have cash on both Snappy and Doto, so these two guns are very valuable. And so Ents holding on to both of them means they can continue to buy up and give it another go. In the meantime, I mean, Ents, they're no slackers. Ever since Astralis went 3-0 up off the back of the pistol round, Ents have not dropped around until now. Five CT rounds in a row. And so they are more than comfortable in conceding one gun round and coming back in to close. Six chances to find just one round. And if that doesn't happen, you've got OT to fall back on. But let's not get ahead of ourselves we're not there yet. And this is what I talk about when I say the line of spawns, right, in, in CT. Just pretty, pretty standard. Nothing special. Doesn't vary all too much. Yeah, your spot will change every round, but as long as you learn on lineups for each different position, check out uh, check out Hades. He's throwing it now this time. Or uh, that was Sphinx, rather. So the A main smoke is down. It locks Astralis out. Yeah, like it not respecting the smoke. And Diha learns about that lack of respect the hard way. Now, Hades is still waiting in the wings. And there's actually a, a third, you know, a second player now, but it was a third player before Diha dies, over towards this A bomb site. It's, uh, it's Snappy over in Cube. Or actually, Sphinx, rather. But Astralis, so once again, you know, they're not going to just immediately barrel in. Like, they get that opener, and now they sit back. They wait. They know that Ents are likely feeling the pressure. These lineups are so scuffed as well. You're on the third green dot to the right of the left <laughs> tree with the... you got to yeah. find the leaf that looks like it's missing an edge, okay? Yeah. Then you got to go three leaves down from that. <laughs> <laughs> they are scuffed, man. Lineups are really hard on this map. All right, it's an ace split. This is a really nice round for Astralis, right? They showed a lot of uh, presence in main early. Lucky is now orping it. And he's going to go late as well, right? If, if the attention can get drawn from Astralis or for Astralis and they can get Hades' attention, then Lucky can try and poke them in the back line. Hades drops the bomb. It's picked right back up. Lucky is delayed. He's hiding behind the big box. They're trying to hunt him down. Hades stalling very well, but they're both behind boxes. He needs to pick an angle and he needs to pick one now, grabbing Magis. And now looking back, he's found the AWP. How is Hades doing this round? Or on his own, he needs no help. Finally put down, three on two, flank is in. Don't try and part, you'll get backstabbed. Oh. And from the front...